do a Skype call first to make sure the two of you are compatible, that there's something there that's worth driving for and actually meeting. Jonathan says, I'm in correspondence with a girl in Canada. Is it possible to Skype with a girl in Canada? Jonathan, it is possible and should be possible to Skype with virtually anyone on our site. And, and I, as one, highly recommend doing that as opposed to a lot of correspondence. Because when you Skype, you can see more about what she's all about. She gets to see more about what you're all about. And you don't have this correspondence thing to hide behind, right? And, you know, and again, we're going to talk about correspondence in just a little bit. But with the correspondence too, you know, it goes through matchmakers. It goes through third parties and they get assistance and they get help. And so there's going to be three of you basically involved in that. And even on a Skype call, there's going to be a third person on there. But at least on a Skype call, you can see her more. And even if she's getting assistance with language um, translations and things like that, um, you have a better idea of, of what she's really saying and what's going on as opposed to just correspondence. So I am a huge fan of trying to do a Skype call the sooner the better actually before you do a lot of correspondence. Um, now some women might want to do one or two letters before they, they agree to a 30 minute Skype call with someone because if there's no chemistry or there's, you know, they don't feel anything, haven't seen your photo, they may not want to just, you know, commit to that. Um, but once they know a little bit about you and they're open to it, then that's great. And I, so I, so if you've been corresponding, Jeremy, with this person, then I would absolutely do it. Ed saying, can you comment on us guys meeting women with recent AFA profiles who are in the U.S.? Lots of great profiles. If I'm traveling to New York next month, or if I'm traveling to New York City next month for biz, can AFA set up individual dates for me in New York City? Yeah. If the woman is in New York, and some of these women are coming from the Ukraine, they're settling here in the U.S., um, and they are still uh, available and willing to meet. So, yes, you can do that. Um, you need to contact our office. It would just be, it's pretty much like a regular one-on-one -on -one introduction where we'll help set it up. We still have to do Imbra. We still have to do all that, but we could act, we can certainly do it. So it's not a problem. But again, I wouldn't recommend writing forever if you're going to do that. You know, maybe a letter or two, just let her know who you are and that you'd like to meet. And if she's open to it, then meet. And again, before you drive halfway across the country, maybe do a Skype call first to make sure the two of you are compatible that there's something there that's worth driving for and actually meeting you know i hate to see you drive halfway across the country meet for 20 minutes and then okay that was nice and then she's gone okay that's that, that's not a great date so we want to make sure that there's something there before you go okay and do all that then now it says do you recommend an individual trip to kiev odessa or a city in europe Paris or poland to meet ukrainian women on the afa website I would recommend you to go to Paris or Poland. For right now, um, you can come if you're not afraid to Kiev or Odessa. Um, but uh, I would recommend you to meet lady, especially if you have one lady or two ladies that you've been in correspondence and you uh, go just to meet her. Uh, invite her to other country and um, trust me, the girls will be more than happy right now to escape from this situation. At least to get some sleep, you know, because like air alerts and nights and everything. We don't have enough sleep there. Yeah, I agree. You know, the difference I think between going to Paris or Poland as opposed to going to Kiev Odessa is that <laughs> if you go to Paris or Poland, you're going to meet fewer women, like one or two or three women, because yes. we don't have the same density yes. of profiles as we do in Kiev or we do in Odessa. So if you just pop into Odessa, you're gonna be able to do three days a day probably. You're not gonna yeah. be able to do that in Poland or Paris because the women that have come from Ukraine to Poland or to France are spread out all over the, yes. the, the country, right? Yeah. Not just in one little area, like what we're dealing with over here. So it's a little bit of a different logistical dynamic. So you have to understand that. But I think everything that you said is absolutely true. And I would probably yeah. recommend going to where the women Poland, maybe Germany. Yeah. And uh, if you 
if you're not corresponding with a lady, you know, and you're just planning to go there and meet some ladies, um, you can talk about that prior to our managers. Uh, they can make you some schedule around the cities. Like I had a client, he'd been in Germany for two weeks and he actually dated two girls in one city. Then he moved on a train and it's, he said it was comfortable for him, uh, like one hour, two hour uh, train ride between the different cities. And he met about like 10 ladies during the week. So yeah, great, great. All right. Are you tired of the same old dating sites? Join men from all over the world as they take a trip and find their future brides. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Then click on the notice bell to get notified every time we add something new. Check out our website at ukraineladies.com.